is up YouTube that's it here bringing you guys another episode of in a twinger we are coming back at it with this Pikachu Lapras team and uh, it was a the, the last game we played wasn't the best I missed a few sheer colds that went for a bit too many started messing around with my food and uh, I threw a game that I should have won if I was paying more attention though today we're gonna focus up we're gonna pay the most attention we're gonna run in the items first though we got the white ball on pikachu the y4 ball on the evolve tall we're gonna be rocking choice scarf ogre uh what is that choice specs lately we got double choice items I, i'm pretty sure it's double choice items let me check this lately item double choice items all the way to the bank then we got a sash amoongus and an assault vest lapras so we're rocking team barely any protects once again on the that's plus one channel where apparently that's what we do. We rock double choice items and assault vests, and we can't protect with anything. So, you know, one of the things we really got to do is try our best to not let our opponents get that speed control that they need to succeed. No tailwinds, no trick rooms. Stop everything and everything as soon as possible. And uh, if we do that, maybe we can win some games. So let's try our best. Here we go. All right, look at that team. We are going to see Groudon, Weavile, Venusaur, Zekrom. Groudon and Zekrom together. That's a little bit different. Uh, Milotic and Incineroar. So multiple fake outers. Uh, I mean, I don't have any Intimidators, so the Melodic's probably not coming. Melodic's not coming. I assume he's going to be bringing... I think Weavile might be coming. I'm just, I'm kind of just looking at it. Like, Weavile guarantees he has higher fake-out speed tiering if he wants it. Uh, Zekrom's going to be coming. Groudon's going to be coming. Venusaur's going to be coming. I'd like to be able to get a Tailwind up, right? But, how? What if I, I'm actually just going to try this. I want to see if this works. See, I think the Zekrom... Is gonna try. It's gonna be like a tailwind setter, and I think this might work. I'm gonna go Lapras Amoongus, and then just switch away. There's no reason to bring Pikachu to try to like redirect Zekrom because like Zekrom has terrible. So like, there's no reason to bring Pikachu this at all. Maybe he'll like assume that I bring Pikachu and think that I might try and do something like that. But you know, we're gonna try. We're gonna try something different. We're not bringing any legendaries as in our lead. We're saving our Kyogre and Yveltal in the back to switch in. That Zekrom actually just bodies us. I think it beats our Pikachu. It beats both of our legendaries. As we see, we've all Zekrom. So he's gonna be going like Fake Out and uh, what is it? Fake Out and Electric or Fake Out Tailwind. That's what he's going for. I think this is fine. Um, not fine. But I think I'll be fine. And if he wants to just hit my Lapras right in the face, well, that would suck. But you know what? I think I'll be okay. I'm actually going to protect my Moongus to get around Fake Out. Do I need to freeze dry Zekrom? Or do I need to Sheer Cold it? I'm going to do it. I can, hit, I can HP fire that we all. I'm going to Sheer Cold the Zekrom. I'm going for it, guys. Sheer Cold's up! Because RNG's ready to go. A Moongus going to be protecting. I mean, I know he could just. Like electric attack the crap out of me right now. Taunt! Alright, hey, now we know. No one's half the battle right now. And he's going for the tailwind. This is my one chance, my one opportunity. If I get that Zekrom off the board, oh baby. Oh baby! <laughs> I love it. I can't I can't get enough of it, man. It's so funny. This guy's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, man, really. I mean, I could do it again. You know that meme? It's like, it's like, want to see me, uh, like, run two miles? It's like, want to see me do it again? <laughs> I think we're just going to nuke the Weavile at this point. Um, he's going to taunt me because he has to, right? So I'm actually clear smog it and uh, go for it. Hidden power fire! Lapras! Got the Lapras carry, boys! Show me that Lapras carry. We have, Venus was going to protect. No, oh, you're scared of the sheer cold. You're scared. Maybe he's going for just a big ice attack. Or he's going to go for the taunt. Dude, I see you a mile away over there. I see your plays. And I see hidden power fire for days. Nah, oh, dude, I'm weak as shit. <laughs> I don't even care, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I could switch out one of these Pokemon. I, could, I don't want to switch any of them out. I like all of them. They're all my friends. I want to sheer cold the crap out of that Venusaur. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna clear smug. We've all put it on a two hit KO, and go for another sheer cold. Because I'm worth it. Weavile's gonna knock off, knock off that sash. Ooh, that's a crit. Ow, nope, no, uh, -uh mm, mm Grass knot. I can live a grass knot. Extra thick. Just kidding. I, I'm not kidding, alright? We live in, boys. Life orb! Sheer cold! 
Wombo combo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. That's too down, my guy. What else you got? Show me what else you're working with. I mean, you got ground on, dude. I don't even freaking care. I'll hit that one. I'll hit that too. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. I hope he doesn't sub. But like, do I care? Not really. Not even like half of a little bit. Let me see. Um. I'm fine losing both these Pokemon, so I can get, like, a really good situation. Like, this is the last Nartale one, right? Yeah. I'm fucking doing it, dude. I don't even care. Here we go! Shickle! Round three! Icicle Crash. That could have missed. Alright. Amoongus might be dipping. I might live, actually. Alright, I was close. Is he gonna sub? Should I have freeze dried? Precipice Blades. That could miss! Oh! You know what doesn't miss?! Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, man, I was like, you know what doesn't miss? Sheer cold. <laughs> that was the biggest punish. You miss a precipice blades and eat a sheer cold in the face. I'm, I'm happy that didn't happen to that guy, because that would have been hilarious. All right, so Drizzle's up. This game's over. This game is Kai Ogre. Here we go. Water Spot Arena. I'm not stopping the use of Sheer Cold at this point. I could use Hydro Pump. I could use Freeze Dry. I could use other moves. That's not what I'm about. I'm in it to winge it with Sheer Cold all the way to the bank. But I don't see a way like this Groudon lives to this Water Spout. Unless he's rocking that Sash Groudon, which I'm pretty sure it was on the Weavile. Because he saw the Life Orb on the Venusaur. So I'm pretty sure Weavile was holding that Sash. Water Spout comes out. That big damage. Groudon goes down. Shoutouts to Sheer Cold Lapras. That Zekrom was going to absolutely destroy me. And I was like, nah, fam. I got you. All right, we are going to be seeing Kyogre, uh, Solgaleo, oh man, that is Incineroar, and Mineshell, and Ferrothorn, and Ludicolo. Oh my goodness. You know, one poke, one weakness all of those Pokemon have in common, they all get one-shotted by Sheer Cold. So, it worked for us in the last game, right? It totally worked. Let's think about how I want to run it in this one. If I start Ogre, like, just leave with it, leave, like, Kyogre Lapras, I can do the biggest, like, Hydro Pump into any of those Mons and probably pick up a KO, except for the Ferrothorn, or, like, you know, not all the Mons, but, like, it'll one-shot the Incineroar, it'll one probably one-shot the, uh, Oh, Solgaleo as well. So I actually am going to do I think I'm going to lead Ogre just to scare him. And then go Lapras. And then let's think about it. He has like three Fake Outers. I kind of want to go Lele, but he has a bunch of problems. We got to go Yveltal here. And I'm actually thinking about going Pikachu. But I don't know. It's either Pikachu or Lele. I think I'm just going to go Lele. Lele is that big Shadow Ball for uh, Solgaleo in case I need it. And I think Lele is bulky enough to be able to technically fight against... Ludicolo, like, Psyshock will one-shot Ludicolo if there's no rain, but, like, I'm, I'm starting the rain. So, like, it's probably not going to be good. We got to put it all on Sheer Cold once again. You know I'm about to be doing it to him. You know I got to do it to him. So here we go. Sheer Cold spam about to be realistic. Incineroar Slugaway. Okay, so he's going to be, he has to fake out the Ogre, which was, like, the plan, right? That was the idea. So he's going to fake out the Ogre. Right? And I don't know what is Solgaleo really going to do against Lapras. What does it actually have to do? I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump with the Incineroar. We should be able to KO it. And, uh... But then he's just going to bring in his Ludicolo. I don't really have anything for that just yet. Oh, what if I just... Wait, hold on. I'm actually just going to use Water Spout and Hard Switch from my Lele. Like, wh I'm like, what am I doing? I mean, I, I'm, I think I've tunneled a little bit too much on the sh these Sheer Colds. Is he switching in with Ferrothorn? Like, I, w I, I take that too. That works for me. I kind of wish I Sheer Colded that slot, though. So, yeah, we're going to get our Sheer Cold, or not Sheer Cold, we're going to get our big move off. I think I'm going to hard switch out Ogre for Yveltal next turn. Should be able to KO his uh, Incineroar with this, which is pretty good. We take that free KO, and we're going to Psy Shock the... Uh, Woody Cola should be able to pick up a kid. Oh my goodness, he lived. Actually, I'm happy that it, it's actually good for us that he lived. I'm not kidding. It's actually a good thing for us to do because now we can't really push any more objectives. 
We're going to switch in there. And uh, we're just going to go for a Psy Shock. I should be able to eat anything a Woody Cole throws at me, unless it's like a, a Spex or Orbed uh, Hydro Pump into my Lele. But I really think he's just going for a Giga Drain, right? Or like a, sorry, not Giga Drain, a Grass... Grass knot because that's what the that's what the Woody Colas do nowadays. They hit the Kyogres with the big grass knots. They use their own water against them. Hydro Bowie's going for it. Just kidding. He hit me. Uh, am I dead? Nine HP. <gasps> Extra thick. Andy's orb. Dude, that's probably a roll. Chat, guys, people, watch this video. Let me know what the uh, Hydro Pump damage calc is. This is um, as far as I know a full uh, speed special attack timid Lele with uh, on probably only 4 HP in HP. So like 4 EVs in HP. So like, let me know what that calc is in the uh, comments. I mean, I could just send my Ogre back out at this point, right? Or I could send my Lapras. It has HP fire. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna send the Ogre out. Because if he sends out his Ogre, I want to be able to Thunder it. I don't care about his Incineroar, I'm gonna probably ignore it for a while. No, actually I can't ignore it, he just got a big boost from the Dark Aura. There's his Ogre. I think I have to go for, like, a water spout. Shiny ogre. Well, it's about to be all ogre. Dark pulls. Actually, I'm actually gonna... Do I wanna... I wanna actually oblivion wing this first time. To get a good amount of health back. I hope he's not timid and we, we're not speed time, but I'm using a timid ogre. So, like, I know that I wanna go first. It's very muy importante because it makes his water spout so much weaker than mine. I probably could have killed with Dark Pulse if I went for it. Oh, we crit the Ogre, yeah. I was not expecting that much damage at all. So, uh, you know, a Dark Pulse would have been able to crit here. He goes for a Thunder. Who are you targeting, my guy? I don't think that KOs me. And, like, I'll just switch and lock myself in an Origin Pulse if that doesn't KO. No para, no para, no para! Oh, yes, yes! That's what I take all the way to the bank. Oblivion Wing! I really thought he was going to go for, like, a Water Spout right back, so that's why I went for that. I can actually just go for another Water Spout. I can do that. But we know this ogre is scarfed because it's faster than my Yveltal. As we see Solgaleo come out, remember, is not really the best Pokemon to fight against Yveltal with. The last time I checked, that DP gonna be coming in extra hot. Dark Pulse. I'm just gonna lock in. I'm just gonna stand. I can kill that Kyogre with a water, water spout this week, I think. Please? Please dissipate. Oh, please dissipate. Actually, I, this might be a bad idea. Please go away. Okay, barely. That's high end. That's some high end damage, especially on the Sogaleo. Wow. So, decent damage to Sogaleo. Let's see what Sogaleo's rocking. Let's see if he can do that big damage. Goes for a Zen Headbutt. I mean, he's not hitting your belts all with that. Let me tell you what. So, he goes for a Zen Headbutt. And uh, he's going to be able to pick up the Ogre. Remember, it's boosted by Stab, boosted by that Psychic Terrain. As we're going to see Dark Pulse, super effective. Stabbed, boosted by the Dark Aura. Goes right through that Steel Typing. Tears it up. Remember back in the day when, like, Steel resisted dark moves? Oh, man. Those were the good old days. I think I'm still getting used to it, and that was like a Gen 5 change, but, like, it's so refreshing when you can just, like, melt those Pokemon. Those Steel Psychic types just evaporate through the use of one dark attack. But, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Hopefully you like the team. I'm leaving a link to it in the description. Do me a favor, check it out. Let me know what you think, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.